And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. We did not want for Christmas this year <laughs> these below freezing temperatures. Yeah, and not only will it be below freezing over the next couple of days, we're also going to be below zero degrees for our wind chill as well by Friday morning. We'll go ahead and talk about that in just a second here. But let's start with today. We are seeing partly to mostly cloudy skies out there. A thick cloud deck has developed over in parts of uh, southeastern portions of our area over by Hemp Hill and the center area. Uh, and if you're in Lufkin, you're probably looking off to your uh, east. You can see a lot of clouds and to your west, a lot of sunshine there. But these clouds are slowly making their way further to the east. Either way, all clouds are going to be increasing as we head throughout the rest of the day today. Forecast highs this afternoon look like this. We'll climb into the low to mid 50s out there. And uh, even though te these temperatures are still pretty chilly, uh, you're definitely <laughs> going to miss these temperatures once we get into the end of the week. Winds today out of the southeast at around 10 miles per hour. So changes are on the way. It starts tomorrow. Tomorrow morning you'll step out the door before about 10 o'clock or so and be kind of mild out there. Still chilly but not too bad. But as we head into your Thursday late morning and especially into the afternoon, temperatures are going to drop like a rock out there. Temperatures will drop to the freezing mark by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, down to the low 20s by 5 o'clock in the evening. So if you uh, work a 9 to 5, you head out the door in the morning, it's going to be warmer than what we're, you're going to experience during your afternoon and evening commute. It's going to be significantly colder, in fact. So have the winter coats in the back seat of your car, perhaps, in the morning on Thursday, and then by the evening, you will definitely need it as temperatures plummet and the winds will be pretty strong as well, up to 25 miles per hour. Wind gusts up to 30 to 35 miles per hour. As the cold front moves through on Thursday, we will have a chance for a few snow flurries in our far northern areas, but impacts are unlikely. Even though temperatures will drop below freezing when the snow moves in, uh, the ground itself takes a little bit longer to cool off below freezing, so it will likely still be warm and not uh, able to stick to the, to the ground. Could still stick to maybe the top of your car or some grassy surfaces that are typically in the shade, but really not looking to see any impacts there. What I am concerned about, though, is the cold temperatures by Friday morning. Look at this. This is morning lows for Friday, anywhere between 8 degrees to our north and then down to 13 over into DP Texas. So we are all very cold Friday morning, but that's not. It. It's also going to be windy Friday morning as well. That will lead to wind chills between negative 10 and negative 5 in places like Sulphur Springs, Mount Pleasant, and even Linden. Wind chills down to negative 5 to 0 in central portions of our area in like Henderson, Longview, Jacksonville, Tyler, Athens, and Palestine. And then in deep east Texas, we'll see wind chills between 0 and 5 degrees in the morning. So that is some bitter cold air. Definitely stay inside if you can. If you have to be outside, don't be outside for a long period of time. If you do for whatever reason, make sure that you are completely bundled up and your face is protected during the morning hours. Temperatures today, though, climb to the low 50s. Again, the morning sun uh, will be with us, and then clouds will continue to increase through the day. And then tonight will drop down to about 40 degrees with some passing clouds from time to time. Over the next seven days, we are going to see a little bit of a warming trend into the start of next week. But Christmas is cold with highs in the low 40s and mostly sunny skies. And then for DP Texas, it is going to be more of the same. And for your latest weather forecast, you can head on over to our website that is KETK.com.